Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where our elephant is swimming in the middle of their gigantic lake! <laughs> Look how big this lake is for our elephants. I really think it's it's potentially almost too big, so maybe I might want to get in here and like take care of it, but it seems like the elephant's happy. <gasps> She's pregnant! You guys! Yay! Our elephant is pregnant. Oh my gosh, and I need to take better care of her nutrition. I totally forgot about that. Okay, we need to go ahead and we're gonna change her current diet. Let me rush over to where we have our little storeroom. Uh, and then we're going to go and find our elefante and we're going to provide better nutrition for them because I'm trying really hard to make sure that they're all taken care of. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna come down. Oh, and the Komodo dragon. Oh my gosh, I really hope the Komodo dragon is still alive. I can't believe we forgot to feed the Komodo dragon for so long. I really should make a checklist for every time I start adding in a new exhibit into our zoo. I should have a little checklist that I consult to make sure that I take care of everything. Oh, look at that. No, I'm not gonna let you, they, look, they can eat their own offspring. No, <laughs> I am not going to let that happen. We're going to feed the Komodo dragons fish, small carcasses, and meat pellets. It's a good thing I double checked and glanced down to see like what the fourth thing you can feed them is. Meanwhile, for the elephants, we can feed them straw, thorny shrubs, branches, and tree bark. So let's see what proportion of that is good for all of them. Maybe another 30-30 mix. All right, yeah, it looks like 30. Nope, a little bit more, actually. I think it's 40 for thorny bushes. And then it looks like branches is 30. And then I think tree bark. Does tree bark actually give them? Yeah, tree bark actually gives them a lot of nutrition, too. So we'll lower the amount of straw they have by quite a bit. Let's buy $50,000 worth of food, but we've got to feed everybody. And huzzah! All right, so where on earth were we now? Well, friends, according to my notes, we are actually trying to breed fairy armadillo. Because if we have another fairy armadillo, then we will be able to go ahead and trade them for antelope to join our elephants. So that is my current goal. There's a lot of things I could be working on, but that is my current goal. Also, it looks like the armadillos do not have good nutrition. Oh no, that might actually really affect our ability to take good care of them. I wish there was an easier way to like get to everybody's spot for nutrition, but okay. Polar bears and lemurs, oh, and ostriches. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I haven't changed so many of these poor guys ways to eat. All right, let's get some insects into that armadillo's diet. Yeah, it looks like 30% insects. And then we're gonna add in a, about 25% plants. Ooh, wow, and then armadillos apparently really want some carry-on, or carrion, and then we'll do, there we go, some blended pellets. Awesome, so the armadillo should be doing well. The ostrich, we have 17 ostriches. <laughs> the ostriches seem to be doing fine, despite the fact that we have a lot of, um, blended pellets for them to eat, but they are breeding up a storm. So maybe that's not too critical. It looks like they eat 40% seeds. And then we'll get some roots in here. Is it 20% roots? Maybe 25? Yeah, 20% roots. And then we'll top it off with a bit of grain for nutrition and then lower it down. There we go. So they're not overfed. Ah, oh, and the poor, poor polar bears. Oh. I cannot believe I forget to tweak the nutrition thing, but to be fair, there are so many micro ways that you can tweak your entire zoo in Let's Build a Zoo. It's kind of amazingly ridiculous how many things you can change. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, we're gonna feed them, there we go, small carcasses. And then, oh, penguin, oh my gosh, I haven't changed the penguin either. So yeah, there's actually a ton of different ways that you can tweak the health of your animals. And we'll do some squid for the penguin. And ways that you can try to micromanage your entire facility so that you can make it, uh, there we go. Let's see, what else do I need? More fish for my penguins. And then less ocean flakes, there we go. All right, and finally the lemurs. Oh, no wonder we weren't getting that rare type of lemur. 
So if you are into being able to just alter a million and a half itty bitty little details and set up special chains of production so that you can go ahead and have your lemurs like getting insects from your farm baby, then this is definitely the experience for you. Just saying. Phew. Okay, I think we fixed it. And we should have much happier animals now, but boy, that's expensive. All right, well, we took care of that. We are making plenty of money. We are making like money just like mad right now. We're at $1.5 million. I don't think we need to worry about funds for quite a while, which is great because we need to expand. <laughs> we really need a lot more room for our animals to have some proper places to thrive. All right, so let's actually check on okay oh hey my horse is done hey speaking of animals who need more space i definitely need more space for my horse of course and then how's our breeding going we unfortunately don't have a fairy armadillo just yet uh but let's clone an animal and we will work on cloning there's our armadillo there's our fairy armadillo four days is not bad for the crisper yeah okay so now that we have the fairy armadillo into antelope project completed, let me actually check the world map for today. <gasps> There's new Komodo. Oh my gosh, it's a new pig. New pig. Bee -hoo, bee -hoo. We absolutely have to go ahead and rescue that new pig because having a new variety of pig is a big deal. And there's also a new type of Komodo dragon. So we'll add that. Is this the right enclosure? Yeah, we'll add that guy into the enclosure. Phew. And apparently my swans are being absolute brats again and making it hard for their keeper to clean up the poop that they can't reach. But to be fair, one day I will have a bigger home for our swans. The burger shop made $400 today? Wow. Is there even advertising that I can like pay for? And look at that, we only had 16% of the people who wanted to come from the high rise apartments come visit. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and buy another one of the big buses. And yes, I know I have a tradable variant of Bun Bun. Oh my gosh. And like, I think a hundred, more or less a hundred percent of the people who are coming to visit. All right, there we go. So now we have three buses going to the high rise apartments. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to juggle, but I think we're doing pretty good. Mostly thanks to my beloved notes that I am very diligently and aggressively protecting. All right. CRISPR will be done by tomorrow, so we'll have news on the fairy armadillos in a bit. So next thing after that is to continue working on the elephant area, since this is where the antelope and everybody else will be in the, the near future. And I'm trying to move my elephant hat shop over here so that finally somebody will come and buy my hats. I'm really worried about that. And to upgrade this area, we are also trying to make it so that decoration levels go up to 100%. So people will be so happy here. They will come buy my hats. <laughs> I really want them to buy my hats so badly. So let's actually see if there's anything new decoration wise that we can purchase. I think we could do desert statues. We can also do, ooh, grassy rocks. Now I do like grassy rocks. There's also a water mill, mangrove pieces. Oh yeah, and the air dancers! Of course, I'm getting the air dancers. Yay! So the air dancers make our park beautiful. And that adds to decoration and it counts as a promotional decoration, which will improve perceived ticket value by 15% if we find three more of them. And I don't know where any of the others are, so that just goes to show there is still so much to unlock here. Also, we can upgrade recycling center efficiency at 23 points. That would probably be really, really good so we can keep our zoo really clean and nice. I'm going to go ahead and snag, oh, I can't snag that. I'm going to snag the Old West Decoration Pack. Nightshade? Wow. Okay, so we might have to unlock Nightshade and see what we get from that. Like, death? Nightshade's a poison plant. I, I wasn't anticipating that. All right, well, I don't plan on decorating this place. Oh, never mind. This cart is so cute. And look at my tube giraffe. Oh my gosh, make your park beautiful. And I can add in a gigantic giraffe. <laughs> that makes this place beautiful if you ask me. I could even just like put it down. 
in the middle of the, the park so that people have to like stare. Oh my gosh, it's gonna move. It is going to move around once I put it down. Oh, this is, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Maybe I'll put two down because this is where the giraffes are gonna go eventually. Oh my gosh. I don't want to block the path, but okay. How am I, like promotional material giraffeness is going down. I could put it right, that would block that path. People would have to walk around it here. I might put it right here. I feel like it needs to be promotional. So maybe like people walk out of the subway and they see this giraffe and I'll put a couple more things around it somehow. All right, so now we have tube snakes. We also have a little caravan. Look at that wild giraffe. He terrifies me to be completely honest, but I love him. Uh, let's see, we already have a zoo standee here. There's banners. I need to unlock a lot of stuff. Maybe mini fountains? Like maybe I could do a couple mini fountains to kind of just highlight like, hey, promotional moment here. Giraffes are awesome. This place is cool. Spend your money, friends. Maybe some chrysan chrysanthemums look kind of like their surprise decorations. All right. And meanwhile, let's fill in this area with some plants. So first things first, the plants are always the right option in my personal opinion. Um, I might put a sign over here or maybe like somewhere for people to sit because we actually don't have anywhere for people to sit back here. So I'm going to do a few palm trees and then I'll do a small palm tree. I might do like a large fern or two because I think it's cool for people to be able to walk through the ferns whilst they're waiting for whatever they're doing. Uh, and then I will put down some benches in a few spots because there are actually some good locations for some casual benches here. Let's see. And the farm is true. Worker's path has been blocked. Well, we definitely should probably take care of that. All right. Maybe I could put in maybe three benches right here. And then people can sit and watch the elephants. I actually think these are some nice spots for people to like sit and watch elephants. So hopefully that will increase people's happiness somewhat. Hmm. And then maybe a gaslight somewhere. Because I think this area needs to be slightly better lit. Hmm. Maybe one right here. And then we need to decorate it a little bit more, I think. Maybe another, no, I'm not gonna put down two tube drafts. <laughs> but it is interesting to me how to really decorate the section, you can't just go all with trees because that was my main plan. Oh, hey, our elephant has come all the way over on this side, cool. So we'll put down trees and then we'll add in as many blocks of grass as it takes to fill in the gap. All right, and I can't put anything behind there. There's a couple more spots over here and a couple more spots over here. Okay, and I think decorations, like sign decorations, actually work out okay. I was thinking of like sneaking a sign back here. Oh, I can actually sneak signs back here. <gasps> Ooh, and I think they would actually count as Ooh, I can actually like sneak a sign back there. That's actually kind of cool because it's it maybe is like a just there purely for decoration sort of piece. And then maybe a couple planters to just fill in the edges, maybe with the bonsais. And then maybe this planter. All right, so this is really filled in. Oh, look, but I feel like we have a lot more people coming in just to see what's going on. So let's check the heat maps. Lighting coverage is 210%, so that's great. Decoration? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Decoration could be higher. We're at 82% now. I I'm flummoxed. <laughs> I really feel like it's so much harder to get the decoration up than I ever thought it would be. I mean, I could put down some owl clocks. Maybe I'll put in like another standee. Does that count as decoration? There's not enough room for hedge fencing. 
Um, I need just more everything. I don't have enough room. Oh, this little cart. Okay, the cart is really kind of cute. I might be able to get away. Here, I think I can get away with the cart and then like a few more planters. Like we're selling potted plants or something. Ooh, new pig variant. I think we've got just one more pig and then we will complete all the variant. And yeah, that's the pig we adopted and the Komodo dragon we adopted. Woo! All right. Now I'll have to wait to see what tomorrow is going to bring. So how's the heat map for decoration over here now? 88%. <sighs> Still room for a little bit of improvement, but we've pushed hard and I'm really happy to see that it looks a lot better. People tend to walk in just one spot, so I might be able to sneak in a few more decorative pieces here and here. Is there anything else I could spend? I mean, there's some... Maybe rocks? <laughs> like, I'm getting kind of desperate just for small decorations that I can sneak in there that aren't going to bother anybody. Uh, and maybe maybe the animal hedges? I think we'll save up a couple more points and get animal hedges. All right. Well, let's check in on our fairy armadillos since we've got the elephants under control for a hot minute. Can I breed anymore? I can indeed try to breed some more. There we go. So we've got two groups of armadillos now trying to make babies for us. <gasps> yes, and we have three hours. Go, 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 go. I might return one of those groups of armadillos in just a second. I hope they don't get pregnant. I guess I could always find an empty breeding facility. Also, I have way too many chickens in our chicken zone. I need to like tell them to calm down and maybe put them all on contraceptives. All right, we're almost there, friends. Also, we're at over a million point six dollars. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. All right, so here we go. We now have two fairy armadillos. Are we going to have any good news about them being different genders? Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. -un. Please come true, little fairy armadillo. And. Released! Okay, so we have Pretty Girl. And Coco! <gasps> They're different genders, yes! All right, let's return these ones. Boom! And we're gonna rush over here and we are going to breed these two. Yes! All right, so we do have progress with the fairy armadillo breeding. Also, for crying out loud, chickens. Everybody in this entire pen, like, stop. Just stop. Like, we'll keep the babies you've got coming, but otherwise, just stop. And I think this pen is actually struggling with hydration issues now. You guys are just your catty wampus. You know that? That means a lot of trouble in seriousms. There. Hopefully that'll be enough water to maintain my fleet of chickens that I have somehow acquired. Uh, by the way, I could have sworn we had our animal expert like working on the whole meerkat thing. Or excuse me, our population manager working on the meerkats. Where's my population manager? Oh, there's a nutrition hut too. All right, let's see. There's the population manager. Oh, they were not working on my meerkats. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have them work on the meerkats and the ostriches because things seem to be getting a little, and maybe the pandas? Like seems, things seem to be getting a little out of control in a few parts of my zoo, but I can only do so much work at a time in one or two directions. All right, and speaking of the work I'm doing at a time, we're going to try moving this nursery, which I actually need to do a little bit of checking in on. Who am I breeding in here? Hyenas? Good for the hyenas. I should try breeding a new type of hyena. And then we're going to skip these guys and return these guys. And then can I breed a new type of... I could breed a new type of ostrich? Let's do it. All right, we'll try to get a new type of ostrich going. Uh, but now I'm going to try to put my hat thing somewhere over here. Because nobody has bought a single hat. I am still a gog. I am offended about nobody buying my hats. And I'm going to figure out why. And I want people to come and purchase them. I just wish I could convince them to. 
So I could put it right, I think I may put it right here, facing this direction. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna try this. And we're gonna see if I can somehow convince people to come buy my hats. Like, what is wrong with this? Also, I think the bold squares actually would be a great option for pathing for this area. Because this matches kind of like the desert-esque look of the place quite well. All right, we'll do a line over here. So people can admire our lovely ostriches. I really want people to buy my hats. Moving the hat shop and seeing if we can fix what's wrong uh, has been on my list of things to do for quite a while. So we'll investigate. All right, I guess people can just freeform walk through all of my other spots like the pyramids. Because not everywhere needs to have path. But this is already looking quite a bit better with some path. And I think if I move this cactus, life's going to get better for some of these spots. All right. I have, I ha there's zero utilization of this poor shopkeeper, Carolyn. She has amazing work ethic. I don't know why nobody is coming to her hat shop. I will have to see if maybe that's like a glitch or something. But we'll, at least I've moved it, so that makes me feel better. <laughs> that we're at least giving it a little bit of a try. All right, but I like this. I, I mean, it's a lot of chaos. I'm not really 100% sure how I feel about how messy everything is. Oh, one million dollars this week. Oh my gosh, we're almost at two million dollars. I, oh, putting things together, create a hybrid, create a snake and rabbit hybrid, create a goose and snake hybrid. Um, we'll do the goose snake again. New experiment added to the crisper slicer. Wait, wasn't I already doing things? Oh, that's so rude. I was already doing things in there. I was trying to clone fairy armadillos. How dare you? I guess you really have to monitor and keep things busy. Oh, look, we have a new fairy armadillo on the way. Yes. All right. Oh, two fairy armadillos on the way. All right. That's wonderful. I really wish somebody. Oh, 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 somebody famous. Somebody famous. It's Code Nico. All right. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do VIP treatment. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and have her come on in and, I mean, come on, monkeys. Every time people enjoy the monkeys. Phew! Okay. Well, let's see if we have anything more to spend our decoration points on. I could do deco statues. I'm trying to unlock new decorations. Ah. Uh, let's just get the goat dairy. It's on my list and maybe... Goat cheese deli! That sounds so cute! And cactuses! Okay, cactuses can at least go into the desert. So at least that did unlock something new for us. Ah, oh, but still, still, I'm not quite where I wanted to be with people buying my hats. I'm gonna find out if there's just something broken about my poor hats. All right, let's see, what else am I looking for? There we go. We'll get a little path connected up over here. And I think this is good because people will come on down I don't really like having too much of... Yeah, we'll actually try to use utilize this, this block pathing lightly. But it does seem to help people move around a little faster. Or maybe not. Alright, that person's moving. Do they move slower now? I'm watching, I'm watching. Maybe not. Huh. Well, I'll be a little... I'll be the judge of this so we'll keep an eye on maybe not putting down this path everywhere because I like the the desert-esque look of everything so maybe I'll remove it for like over here because you're entering the desert right we'll have a little bit around the front but maybe once you get into the desert you're in the wilderness now all right there we go phew all right guys well not quite where I wanted to be today because there is just so much going on. And yes, yes, sir, who's super happy. Why are you not buying my hats? Maybe I can make them really, really cheap. Here, let's make really cheap hats. 
I'm gonna make them, they're, on, they're gonna be on like a huge discount right now. They're super cheap. I just wanna see people wear them. And we'll see if that works out. But otherwise we have the crazy giraffe, which I guess is at least a giraffe in my zoo. So I should be happy about that. We have fairy armadillos on the way and we have a baby elephant that will be born at some point in the near future. We just have to keep our eyes out. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on yet another chaotic episode. At least we managed to get a couple things done and make almost a million dollars, what? Uh, so there's that. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the chaos. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.